Hello everyone, we're about to be starting our first ever series on YouTube, part one, part two, part three, and anyway, it's out of necessity. This has to happen. So we've been editing on YouTube for a little over half a year. We started in May of this year, and the raw footage plus the edits are starting to build up on my personal PC to the point where I've actually had to start deleting raw footage, and I really don't want to do that. So to remedy this, you know, you think, oh, buy yourself a NAS. Or we could build our own and, you know, enjoy it because we built it. That, that's a thought, right? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to actually be building either a server or a NAS. We do have Windows Server software uh, free to us students, but there are other avenues of uh, NAS uh, software out there that is free to use, so that'll be in part two. We're gonna look at the software, we're gonna weigh the pros and cons, and then on the third, we'll decide and show you how it works. But this, this episode, part one, is dedicated to just reviving the old PC I'm using. So it's actually an old AMD APU I used to use back in the day, and by back in the day, it was maybe like six or seven years ago. So it's actually in the trunk of my car, we're going to go get it, we're going to clean it up, we're going to apply new thermal paste, put RAM in it, put a little bit of storage in it, make sure it boots, and after it boots, we're off to the races. That'll lead us into part two and then part three after we find what software we're going to use. So let's go grab it and get it started. Alrighty, here we go. Sorry for the wind, we're outside. If you're wondering what the hell these boxes are, this is Microform. I'm a history major, so this is some stuff I was using for research. If you never heard of Microform, well, it's a way that they used to uh, store newspapers and things of the like before databases became a thing. But for me, I had to get it because, oh, look at that. We have a PCIe lane that's uh, just chilling. Okay, hopefully that wasn't banging around. Uh, this is what we're working with. Got an old AMD CPU, probably one of the crappiest PSUs in history. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be interesting, especially if it uh, still works at all. But let's take it upstairs, and from there, I mean, look at that. Oof, gonna need some cleaning, some TLC. All right, well, we're gonna take it upstairs and try and get it to boot. Alrighty, so this beautifully disgusting mess is our donor PC. Got some tan there here. So I'm going to give you one or two seconds and warn you. You're needing this sound warning. It's, uh, it's going to get loud. Clean enough. Okay, now I'm gonna put this down, clean up, we're gonna lay it out on the table, and we're gonna go ahead and reapply thermal paste, put some RAM in, and get it to boot. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this cooler, which by the way, if you're curious, these older coolers from these stock ones at least, just have a little pop-up bracket, pull upwards. Isn't that pretty good? Come on. Push down, pop up. Push up, there we go. Wow, wow. 10 of 10, look at that. Well, don't know what thermal paste is on this, but. It's uh, some good thermal paste apparently, right? All right, well, let's try and pry it off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, as soon as I turned off the camera, something miraculous occurred. Just with a little force, I was able to pull it out. Thankfully, pins are all still intact. Cooler's still good. Now I just need to clean them both and see which CPU we're rocking right here. It is the I don't know. Huh. 
Weird. I can tell you it was made. Oh, it's an Athlon too. Wow. Well, that's about as clean as she's gonna get. Focus. There you go. My the Athlon part. Yep, there you go. But uh Athlon 2. Let's clean the cooler now and reseat everything and get it all plugged in. There we go. That's done. Clean the cooler. We're good to go. Well, that looks about as clean as we're going to get that heat sink. Let's reapply some thermal paste and we'll be good to go. Okay, let's put this thermal paste on. We'll be good to go. Just got some of my uh, Arctic MX4 compound. It's upside down. Whoop. There we go. Come on, focus. There we go. Let's put some on here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Should be a good amount. It's a little larger than a pea size, but should be fine. It's an AMD CPU after all, yeah, from an earlier generation, so she's gonna be hot. Lean it forward a little bit, get this hook on. Okay, that's hooked. So now we move that. We grab this other hook, force it down. Both hooks are attached, so we're going to pull this lever. Done. It's in place. The thermal paste, going to plug the fan into the fan header. Got the CPU fan. This bad boy is only going to be used in. Hmm. Let's see. Hopefully, all of these work. I think they all do work. So. Put them in. Should be about eight gigs of RAM. I mean, they're not ECC, so that sucks. But but we'll line the notch up. Alrighty, so that's all plugged in. So we just need hard drives. Plug those bad boys in, and hopefully get it started. Everything should be plugged in now. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and hook up a keyboard, get some power going to it, and see what's going on. Alright, here we go, moment of truth. Okay, we got it to boot, that's good, it's the first step. Awesome, so we got it to boot but it doesn't look like it really wants to look at that drive. So from here, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm actually going to work on this on my free time. More specifically, it's... <sighs> We've got finals this week, and I don't really have the time today to keep messing with this. So we got it booted, which is a good thing. It means we're close, but it doesn't want to read the hard drive. So off and on this week, I'll work trying to get it to work with a hard drive, make sure it reads it, and we'll see if this project is a bust and I need to find a new donor PC. On that note, please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure that you guys subscribe. This way, you'll be the first to know if my project worked or if it's a giant failure. Hopefully it worked. Anyway, see you guys next week.